How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to another FIFA 20 tutorial on my channel. So guys, in the next couple of minutes we are gonna talk about the new timed finishing in FIFA 20. I know guys, I'm pretty sure that most of you find it difficult to hit green in FIFA 20 compared to FIFA 19 and the reason is very simple guys. According to EA Sports, green timing window for timed shots will be reduced from 2-4 frames to 2 frames for all shots, which will make it harder and require more skill to perform the shot. But don't worry guys, you know me, I always find a way to succeed. So, in today's tutorial, I am going to explain to you how to get used to the new timed finishing in FIFA 20 and hit green in over 90% of your scoring chances. But before we get into more details, you're more than welcome guys to smash the like button below. Can we go over 2000 likes? if you want me to continue my FIFA 20 tutorial content on the channel and if you want me to keep posting the best and the most effective FIFA 20 tutorials. So guys, as you know, time finishing is a fantastic new feature which allows you to increase your chances of scoring more goals in the game. On the other hand guys, it's quite difficult to perform it correctly in FIFA 20 and in most of the cases you may end up hitting red, which means that you will never hit the frame of the goal or yellow guys, which means that you will miss over 90% of the scoring chances. So in the following clips I am using my live controller which will help you guys understand when to press the shoot button one more time in order to hit green and improve the accuracy of your shots. So right now I am going to reveal the secret guys. The key to success is to follow the player's movement carefully. So first guys, use the left stick to direct your shot afterwards. Load the shot button guys, 2, 3, 4 bars depending on the certain situation and afterwards the tasty part begins. You need to follow the player's stronger foot carefully guys. The best moment to press the shoot button one more time in order to activate the perfect time finishing is when the stronger foot of the player is in the air guys and he's about to kick the ball. So guys don't press the shoot button one more time before the special kicking animation begins. That's the key to success and honestly it applies to any in-game situations. First time finish, close range shots, long range shots, you can score goals from anywhere using time finishing and that's the rule you need to follow if you want to succeed in over 95% of your attempts. So let's recap and take the following in-game example. I just broke down the defense of my opponent, I put myself in a scoring position and I want to use time finishing because it will improve my chances of beating the goalkeeper. So first, I use the left stick to aim at the goal. Afterwards, I load around 2-3 bars of power, it all depends on the certain situation guys, it depends on the distance to the goal and afterwards, I wait for the player to perform the special kicking animation. When the kicking animation begins, bang, it's time to press the shoot button one more time in order to activate the perfect time finishing. And yep, that's the key to success. And guys, keep in mind that it takes time to master the time finishing in FIFA 20. You need to play around 50, 60, maybe even more matches guys to adapt to the FIFA 20 gameplay and get used to the players kicking animations. So you can time your shots perfectly well just like in these examples guys. Also let me give you a little advice, it's better to wait until the last second before you press the shoot button twice, then pressing the shoot button too early guys. Because if you press the shoot button too early, basically your chances of scoring goals are zero and it will result in red or yellow timed finishing. However, if you press the button too late guys and miss the green bar, don't worry, you will hit white which means that the player on the ball will take a regular shot and guess what 
your chances of scoring goals are much, much better compared to the previous scenario. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 20 tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button below for more incredible FIFA 20 tutorials coming up on my channel in the following days. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Stay updated on the latest FIFA 20 news, my social media is in the description down below. Thank you all for watching, guys. And your boy Crossy will catch you later. Bye-bye.